What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked double battles. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with a Necrozma team that also includes Tapu Bulu and Swift Swim Kingdra. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the video at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you're crazy. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But this team was actually sent in by a fan, and I realized it was actually made by Moxie Boosted over here. He is actually another YouTuber. He makes Pokemon content, so I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. I believe he did like a team building video on this team, so definitely go check it out. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. But getting started with this team, we're starting off in that top left corner. We have the one and only Nick. And I don't think I showed off this Pokemon for Series 10. I used him back when Restricted Mons first came out, and he was an absolute beast, considering you could Dynamax him, proc his weakness policy, and just roll out from there. But we haven't been able to see a lot of weakness policies ever since Dynamax format has been gone and out of the picture. But we're rocking with Necrozma here. Prism Armor as his ability, Mental Herb as his item. Then we got Sun Shield Strike. Photon Geyser, which seems amazing. I never used that move before, so I'm definitely going to want to go check that out in the summary when I'm picking my first team. And then we got Swords Dance to set up our attack boost and Trick Room to set the Trick Room. Right next to him is Tapu Bulu, the Tapu who never gets no love over here. Absolutely love his Pokemon, and I love his typing as well. It's Grass and Fairy, Grassy Surge ability, Assault Vest as his item. We got Close Combat for a coverage move, Nature's Madness, and then we got Horn Leech for Stab and Snarl to drop Special Attack. Middle left is the one and only Incineroar. I'm not even going to talk about it. You know plenty about that Pokemon. He's there if you want to look at his items and all that good stuff. But I'm telling you now, it's a typical Incineroar. Next to him, we got Kingdra over here. Swift Swim Kingdra's holding that life orb over here. Muddy Water for stab. Draco Meteor for our stab move as well. And then we got Hurricane for our coverage move. But it hits 100% in the rain, so it's going to pair well with this Politoed once it gets the rain set up. Speaking of Politoed, he's our next Pokemon on this team. Got Jerusalem ability to set the rain. Citrus Berry as his item. And then we got Scald, Protect, Helping Hand, and Haze to just clear stat changes on the field. Final Pokemon for his squad is going to be our Defiant Ostrich Bird over here. Galarian Zapdos with Defiant ability, so we can actually counter up on Intimidate Pokemons. Focus Sash as our item. Then we got the moveset of Close Combat, Brave Bird, Protect, and Taunt. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, you already know the deal. Route the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that Rack Double Ladder and look some, get some wins with this Necrozma, Tapu Bulu, and Swift Swim Kingdra team. We're looking at a tough first battle here for today's video. We're going up against a staple Kyogre team with Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshfu, Regileki, and Dragapult over here. The only Pokemon that I'm a little like weary about where I really don't know what he's going to do is going to be that Dragapult there because it can be set up to attack. It can be set up for support. I really don't know which way it's going to go, but uh, let's get rocking in this first battle. Hopefully we get to show off this team and actually dominate some of the meta teams like we have in front of us uh, right now. But uh, uh, do I even have to bring Rain? I feel like I don't even have to bring Rain. I feel like Politoed is just obsolete here because he's 100% going to bring that Kyogre, right? He's definitely got to bring that Kyogre. I'm definitely going to bring the top of Bulu here. I think that can work really, really well. So let's go Bulu. Um, I could go Trick Room here. Let me see speeds. Let me see speeds. 73, 72, 84, 150. Um, I might Trick Room early on here. I might Trick Room early on here. I might go here and then I might go... I could go Incineroar as a nice little lead. And then bring Tapu Bulu. Because his team's rather fast. His team is rather fast. And then final Pokemon could be our Kingdra. Just for a back end Pokemon. So that's definitely what we're going to rock out with here. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win and get this video started off strong. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What Nintendo game are you most excited for within the next year? Considering we have a lot of bangers dropping Splatoon 3, Breath of the Wild 2, the new Kirby game that was just released in the Nintendo Direct. That looks amazing. First 3D Kirby game. I'm definitely a little excited for that one. Probably going to be picking that up, playing that one on my own. But but yeah, lots of different games. You also have Legends of Arceus and Diamond Pro. So let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' answer is. Mine is definitely Legends of Arceus and Breath of the Wild 2. Top tier games. I feel like they are going to like be game of the year potential. So cannot wait for both of those. Let me know your guys' answers. But he rocks out with the Dragon Pole and the Red Jalecki, which I'm cool with. I'm totally fine with that. We don't fake out Raid Roll, and so we're definitely going to fake out onto the, uh, the Red Jalecki or just Force of Protect. What do I think he's going to do? He could just protect, and I could just, like, uh, set up a Trick Room. I could set up a Swords Dance. I could set up a Swords Dance. I could go here, and then I could just, uh, I could Parting Shot. Or I could just drop a nice little Snarl. It'd be really, really good. The Snarl's just gonna be able to do some big damage, but I think I just pick out onto the Regilecki slot, pose that threat, just in case he doesn't go into that Protect. I'm trying to set up Trick Room so that can work in our favor. He does Protect. I totally should have read it. I should just, like, Parting Shot or just Hard Swapped. Another thing is definitely clear body, but we'll see how this one plays out. 
I was thinking of setting up a Swords Dance. That could have been really, really good. But Trick Room is going to be popping here. Trick Room is going to be popping. We got Trick Room out and about. That's huge for us. And it shows that this Dragon Bolt is actually attacking. So, Trick Room is out. Hmm, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I feel like that Phantom Force is, is definitely a little scary. Good hard swap. Good hard swap into the Bulu if I really want to. What does Jeans want to do here? Go for Photon Geyser. That is awesome. The user attacks the light with or attacks the target with a pillar of light. This move inflicts attack or special attack damage, whichever stat is higher. Ooh. That's a really cool move. I really think that move. So we just double down to this Regilecki here. So we just double down to this Regilecki. Try to get rid of it. Because he can't protect. He cannot protect. And we know uh, Dragon Bolt is going to go last this turn. So he's going to withdraw. So we're doubling down into him. Let's see how much damage we can actually get after this thing. He is going to swap into Kyogre, which I'm totally cool with. I'm actually really, really cool with that. Because then I can bring in my Bulu. I can bring in my Bulu if this uh, Phantom Force does take us out. But still, Photon guys are going to be able to do a good amount of damage onto this Kyogre here. Which is huge. Force a berry out of him. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine with forcing a berry out. But dude, like I said, dude, this Phantom Force is definitely looking a little scary here. Phantom Force, leave me alone. Flare Blitz going to come out here. Kyogre's going to be able to eat that up. No problem. It's in the rain. It's not very effective. Look at that. Tasty snack for Kyogre. And we can take a little bit of recoil damage. Phantom Force pops out here. And he goes after Necrozma. And Necrozma's just a tank. He's an absolute tank. Too big of a tank here. So with all that going on here, I could Snarl again. Um, I could Swords Dance. What do I want to do here? Sunshield Strike does work. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? Photon Cannon. Kyogre might protect. I feel like Kyogre protects, but I have to pose this threat all to him. So I'm going to Snarl that way. Or not. I'm going to Photon Cannon that way and this Snarl all about. But he's definitely going to protect, right? Like, I could start going into the reads hard, but it's just like simple plays winning the Pokemon battles. But if you guys couldn't tell already, your boy's still a little bit sick. My third's still killing me. I'm definitely stuffed all in my nose area. It is crazy, but I'm still bringing you guys some content, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. The Kyogre does protect, so I could have just totally went into the easy read. Totally could have went into it. Would have been smart. Would have been super, super smart. But Snarl is going to pop out here. And I wonder what Dragapult is going to do here. But Snarl is out here. We still get an extra turn in Trick Room, which I love. I love so, so much. And a Will-O-Wisp is going to pop. Okay. Will-O-Wisp is popping. We get to hit off a huge burn. I could have doubled down until we just finished him off there. But, will Photon Geyser turn into special attacking now? It already is special attacking, so that's awesome. <laughs> so the burn really won't affect us too much. We should be fine picking up this KO onto the Kyogre. Should be able to roll strong. And we still have that Kingdra in the back end. Or Swift Swim purposes later. If the rain is still out and about, which could be huge. I would love to get out of my Kingdra while the Swift Swim is active. And Trick Room is gone. Right now, we're just thriving off this Trick Room and really rolling out here. He's really trying to waste out this Trick Room. That's, that's really his plan here. He might swap to Kyogre. I can definitely see him doing that. But again, I, don't just, I just don't know who he's going to swap into, right? It's a real tough call of who he's going to swap into. Because if he swaps into Regilecki, that thing's going to go down. He's going to withdraw. He's going to probably show his fourth mod, or he's going to let the Regilecki go down. Let's see it. We go in the Robum. Okay, so he goes in the Robum here. I'm cool with that. He has a Fake Out ready to rock. So I can protect next turn and maybe just Party Shot out. Let's just see this player. Sucker Punch is going to fly through here. We should be able to eat that up. Yep, tasty snack there. Sucker Punch doing us dirty, dude. Photon guys are flying through here. And we'll be able to get off some nice damage onto that thing. And then a Snarl is going to also drop on both these guys and do a decent amount of damage overall to that Dragon Bolt. Okay. So again, he has two physical attackers, so I kind of want a parting shot out here. And I wonder what he's going to go for. I wonder if he's going to go for a, maybe like a Sucker Punch. Or is he going to fake out my uh, Incineroar? I would love to get off a parting shot here. Parting shot could be super, super big. Could be super, super big for us. Alright, let's see how this one plays out. I think he's just going to wait for the rain to be gone for the Kyogre. And then swap him back in. But yeah, this is a solid battle though, right here. Um, how many turns left in my... How many turns left in Trick Room? I might want to try to get off another Trick Room. Hmm. I have no idea. Because he's just going to start sucker punching up onto me, right? I mean, I guess we'll go for a shot here. Maybe we, we'll be able to eat and we'll be able to get off another Photon Geyser. But in that case, I might just go for a Sunshield Strike. Or, you know what? This will probably be a little bit better for us. We'll go after that. And we're just going to go for a straight party shot into the Mobu. 
see who he's gonna fake out. That's a real question. If he was smart, he would fake out my Incineroar and then Sucker Punch. But we'll see. We'll see. And if I wasn't playing like, like uh, what's it called? Oh, which walls are rolling? Really if I wasn't playing safe, I would totally go into what's it called. I would have totally read those protects early on, but I just want to play safe because I feel like it's the better option here. But I'm fine with him swapping the Kyogre here. Considering Parting Shot can come out here, which is lovely. Trick Room's going to end so I can bring out my Swift Swim Kingdra here. That thing is minus on special attack. We really, really like that. And now we can get out A, my Kingdra, and B, my Tapu Bulu. That's going to be awesome. That was probably a bad swap there. This doesn't... Dragon Pulse still need to go? Oh, no, no. No, he does. Okay, I'm cool with that. I was going to say he sucker punch. I was going to say, that would have been a bad swap if uh, Dragon Pulse still needs to go and he's going for, say, like a, a Dragon move or something along those lines. But, yo, I can swap into Incineroar here. But I just don't see the point. We're going to bring in the Bulu. Show our final mom. We do have Assault Vest on him, which is really, really good for us. Bulu is out and about. Gotta love the Tapu. Got to love the Tapu. Okay. So, with all this going on here, I think I just horn Leech over in this thing. Should be able to do enough damage. And then I could just Draco Meteor. I really don't feel like Draco Meteor. I think a Hurricane should do enough damage to take out this Dragon Bolt. So, we'll see how this plays out here. Kingdra is definitely fastest in the rain right here. And I can definitely see the Kyogre protecting. But let's just see how this one plays out here. I could just go straight for a Draco Meteor. That would be like a guarantee KO. But I'm really hoping this Hurricane can actually finish this thing off. Because it is big damage, but it's not stat. I am Orb, so he's gonna withdraw him, thinking maybe I'm going for a Draco Meteor. Am I swapping the Robum? He does, yo. That's huge. That's huge, yo. Hurricane's gonna dump on this thing. Get this thing out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him gone, dude. Robum out the game, dude. Robum is out of here, yo. We've been playing so good as of recently. I don't think Kyogre's taking out the Bulu at all. Ooh, he's going for an Ice Beam, but that might go over to Kingdra. He's gonna go over to Bulu, but yo, that's easy eat. Or Leech should be able to easily take this thing out with the grassy terrain out and about. We get our HP back. Tell this thing to get out my face, dude. Get out my face, yo. We rocking out with some off-meta teams right now, yo. I'm loving it. I'm loving Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu never gets no love in the Tapu family, but he is awesome, dude. He is so good. Rain stops. He has Regilecki left and Dragapult, which I'm totally cool with. I am totally cool with that. I am just fine with that. The speed is definitely in his favor with the with the Regilecki and the Dragon Bolt. We'll see how this one plays out here. He's gonna bring out the Dragon Bolt here. A Draco Meteor should just be able to dump on that. But I could read a Phantom Force. Could read that. Could read a lovely little Phantom Force. The Leech could come out here. It's probably gonna do the most damage in this terrain. And I could protect this turn. Or I could drop the Draco. Let me just drop the Draco. Let's get after it. I think Phantom Force is popping, but I think we should be fine. We we'll go for a Sucker Punch, but Yuri Impulse is flying here. That's fine. But he's gonna drop my special attack. I still have the Incineroar in the back end, so I could just hard swap. And Dragon Claw is gonna fly here. That's totally fine. It's not totally fine. I thought we were gonna be able to eat that up all day. God dang it, man. God dang it. Give me this Horn Leech out here. Now I can't swap, which is tough news. Cannot swap. Horn Leech gonna still come out here. Yo! Top of Bulu! Getting after it! Getting after it! Yo, get out my face, dude! Get out my face, yo! We rolling out strong here. We rolling out here strong. Let's bring out our Incineroar for our final mod here. I can start Starling and doing a decent amount of damage on this thing. Pretty much finish up this match. I think we have this one in the bag, dude. In the bag, yo. I'm loving this team. I'm loving this team so far. So much fun to use, especially when you're winning with the top of Bulu. Oh, this thing, this is a physical attacking move. I was going to say, dude, that did a good amount of damage. This is physical attacking, so the Eerie Impulse did nothing to us. I'm just going to start off. I'm still going to drop a Corn Leech, even though it's not very effective. I just feel like it is our best bet, considering we have the terrain out here. He's going to end up doing that, which I'm cool with. The Star is going to get blocked, and Horn Leech is also going to miss. The rest disappears from the back here. We want, want. I really love the grass. Definitely needed that. Definitely need the grass. Uh, nature's madness. Uh, user hits uh, with the force of nature. This will not work because there's no, no terrain. I could go into the snarl. I think horn leech would probably be our best bet still. You're at minus two in special attack. I just don't see it really doing a lot of damage. Then force is going to pop. Bulu says, says, yo, that's a tasty snack. Beautiful. We're just going to start slowly chipping away here. 
slowly chipping away for this win. This is GG. This is GG, yo. MVP right here, top of Bulu. Coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. Look at him. Yo, still taking him out. Still taking him out, no problem, yo. Top of Bulu with a three-piece this round. Grab ourselves a win, and now we can hop into our second look to go back-to-back -back for today's video. We just dominated a straight meta team with an off meta team, which is awesome. I had tons of fun playing with that Tapu Bulu. He's really, really strong. I'm not even going to lie. Very underrated Pokemon. We're going up against a Lunala team here in battle number two. It has a little bit of off meta, so I'm actually happy with that one. He has the Lopunny, and he also has the Gujo, which are two decently off meta Pokemon. And then he has the Hatterene and Serene over here, alongside with Indeedee as his final mod. But uh, who should I go into? I'm trying to think here. He does that Gujo, which I think he's definitely going to bring the Gujo. He's definitely going to bring that uh, Necrozma. Well, not Necrozma, the Lunala, no problem, but I'm definitely going to bring my Necrozma. So, uh, hmm. How should I rock it? He could pop a Trick Room. If he does, like, we're, we're totally fine with the Necrozma here. I'm going to lead him. I think I'm going to lead Incineroar. We could go see and lead. Or I can lead my Weather. Weather could be solid here early on. Let's go. Let's lead Weather. Bring the Necrozma and Tapu Bulu right in the back end. I feel like that's the play. We really don't need our Intimidate. He has a lot of special attackers on the field. And then Defiant really not going to work too well. So I'm really with this team a lot. I'm really with this team a lot. So let's rock out here. Let's go back to back here. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, we went I think we went 2-1 and one with the Excadrill team. It was 2-1 and one with the uh, Excadrill and Shadow Rider Calyx team. Definitely had tons of fun recording that one. Almost had the biggest clutch ever. Almost had a 1v4 with an Excadrill. If we would have had Rock Slide instead of Shadow Call in our move pool, we would have totally had a 1v4. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely go check it out and show some love over there. But uh... This guy's rocking out with Hatterene and Indeedee as a lead. I'm cool with it. Definitely a follow me. He's going to come out here. He definitely wants to pop a Trick Room. We have the Necrozma in the back end. So I might hard swap the uh, Kingdra early on here. Or, or, or I can help a hand in Muddy Water get off a DC amount of damage here. Which might be my play here. Might be my play. I think it is going to be my play. Help a hand into a heavy Muddy Water here. Definitely going to be my play. We have the rain damage, we have stab, we have the helping hand boost, and he's going to withdraw Hatterene early on here. Which I'm totally cool here. And he is going to swap in the uh, Serene over here. Thinking I'm going for maybe, like, what do you think I'm going for? Why'd you swap? I'm a little confused why, as why you swap. Bunny Water is still going to fly here. And Serene avoids it. Okay, I'd rather just hit the NDD more so. Because that's some big old damage for Muddy Water. That's some big old damage. We get the accuracy drop here, and he's probably dropping an expanded force if I had to guess, right? Right, yeah, Expanded Force is popping here. I'm cool with that. Because my boy should be able to eat up. Yep, tasty snack he has there. Critical hit on the Polytoad. That's totally fine. Our Citrus Berry is going to poke out here. So, we should definitely drop another Muddy Water here. Considering it will take out the Indeedee. No problem. And then, I think we just, uh... Just drop a Scald. Maybe go for a Burn here. Or do I help again? Let me go for the Burn. Let me go for that lovely... Actually, let's go here. Let's do this. Let's swap over. Let's go Scald into Indeedee for the KO. And then 100% hitting Hurricane into the Serene over here. If he doesn't have a first turn priority move, he's going to get slapped on. He's going to get slapped on. This is a huge first turn for us. I'm surprised he swapped into the Serene over here. Follow Me is going to come out here. You lucky son of a biscuit going for Follow Me here. Now we're going to be able to take him out with the Hurricane. I'm cool with it. Later, Skater. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my game. And then Scald's going to slide over here. Maybe we can get a burn. That could be really, really nice. But Serene is definitely going to take out my Kingdra, right? No way. He goes after Politoed. Okay, I was going to say, the Power Whip led me to think he was going for the Politoed. But I'm cool. I'm cool with that. That's totally fine. So, Skull is going to pop here. Show me a burn. If we get a burn, we get off a free trip in here. Show me the burn. Give it to me. Give it to me. No, no burn. Okay, uh, Bulu can't come out here. Bulu could definitely come out here, but I feel like the better play would be the Necrozma. And maybe, just maybe, setting up a trickle. It really depends who he goes into. Because the Hatterene could be really, really good in there. Hatterene could be really, really good in the trickle. Hatterene is going to come out here. And I think I just protect my Polytoad here. And then we just go into, like, a... Uh, we could go into the Sunshell Strike and just finish this thing off. But I could see him protecting, right? Hmm. What do I want to do? I could definitely see him protecting. So I'm thinking I'm just going into the photo. Uh, Photon guys are going to get rid of the screen over here. So we're going to go for the read here. We're going to go into the protect read. I like to protect here. Hopefully he's had a ring goes into it. If not, I think we're still fine with our turn. 
Shireen's gonna go for the power whip. That's blocked. Katarine is not protecting. Botan guys are coming in hot. I think potentially KO here, right? Yep, get that thing out of my face. So we know we outspeed the Hatterene, which is huge. We know we outspeed that Pokemon. And Trick Room is popping. Okay, so that thing is going to pop Trick Room. I'm kind of cool with that. I'm kind of cool with that. Because we have decently slow Pokemon in the backhand. And his final Pokemon, it's got to be that Lunala, right? Lunala has to come out in the back. Yeah, Lunala is out here. He's thriving. I think Lunala is rather fast, right? Unless he has a slow build on this one. So I could go for a Scald. Or I could go for a Helping Hand. It's really whatever I want to do. I'm going to go for a Scald here, and I think I'm just going to go for a Sun Chill Strike over in the Hatterene slot and see if we can get off some big damage before Arno Chrisma does go out here. Band of Force is popping. I think that might take out my Polytoad. It does. It does dump on my Polytoad. God dang it, no. My dang frog. Why are you hitting up on my frog like that? Hatterene's going to take some Life Orb damage, and then a Sun Shield Strike is going to fly through. We are slower. That's going to take out Hatterene, and my Bulu is going to be able to come out here and switch up terrain, which is huge. I'm going to say, see you later, dude. Get him out of my face. Big Sun Seal Strike. Big Sun Seal Strike. So the Trick Room is actually in our favor now because the Charisma is slower than the Lulala. We're still pretty decent here, but the Moon Guys Beam is coming in here. The Moon Guys Beam, dude. Gotta watch out for this thing. Come on, yo. Easy eats, the Charisma. Easy eats. Yo, the Charisma so bulky, man. He's so bulky, yo. You gotta love it. You gotta love the bulkiness of this Pokemon. You gotta love the bulkiness. The Bulu is gonna get the toss out here. I think we could just snarl him to death and potentially win this battle with a 1v1 with our Bulu. But that might be our play. Just hit him with snarls early on here. Now, I wish we did have protect on our uh, on our Necrozma because I could protect snarl and then hit. But we know we outspeed, so we can definitely get off at least one last Sun Shield Strike onto this Pokemon. But yo, this battle's looking like a lock. This battle's looking like a lock for your boy. I've been playing so good with the off meta teams. I just feel like I play so much better with off meta teams. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but yo, this video and the videos in the past prove that I do play better with off meta teams. I just rock out with them. Snarl is going to come out here, and Bulu is the slowest, which is great. Which is great. Special attack drop is going to come out and about, which is huge up against a big special attacker like Lunala. And then Sunshine Strike is going to fly through here and do some big damage. This one's pretty much a rat. Pretty much a rat, dude. Let's go. Big old damage. Big old damage. Meteor Beam is flying. No, I really don't care who he goes after. If he goes after Top of Blue and takes him out, then that's a KO. Or if he takes out our Blue, then our uh, Necrozma can easily take him out with another Sun Shield Strike. But if he takes out my Necrozma, my Blue can just slowly snarl him down and win this battle. And that's totally fine. And my Necrozma eats anyway. My Necrozma eats anyway, thanks to the Blue Bulu snarl. Thanks to the special attack drop. To say we didn't special attack drop him, we would have been plus one instead of equal now. Yo, that's easy eats, dude. Necrozma is really bulky. I didn't even realize how bulky that Pokemon actually is. He is super, super bulky. And he hits like a truck, so he's an all-around beast. Battle was canceled. 2-0 for this video. We're hopping into our third look for that perfect record. I'm not even kidding when I say this, ladies and gentlemen. Every other battle in Master Ball tier is a Kyogre team. We're going up against yet another Kyogre team in battle number three here, alongside with Incineroar, Rillaboom, surprise, surprise with them too, and then he has the Zapdos, the Landers, and Whimscott for Tailwind. Okay, I think Trick Room is a must here. I think Trick Room is 100% a must, so I am going to go into Necrozma, try to pop off a Trick Room early on here, and I might go Incineroar just for the Fake Out control, and I can be able to get off that Trick Room very, very easily. I could bring in my Defiant Zapdos, but he is very, very fast. Very, very fast. I could lead him. Because if I do lead him, that could be big, big problems if he goes into Intimidate. You know what? I am going to go for the lead with him. Is that what I'm going to do here? Or do I want to commit? I, I have to commit to either side here. I think best play here would be just go into the Trick Room and have Defiant Bird out the way. Definitely got to bring Kingdra and Bulu. The squash is so good. We're just not going to show off Zapdos in today's video. It's all good. You guys know plenty about Zapdos. But we're kind of here to show off this Bulu and a Necrozma. And we are doing just that. We have been dominating with both those Pokemon. Showing them off to their fullest potential. Like the first battle, the Bulu absolutely dominated and got three KOs. And then in that second battle, we got to show off Necrozma a lot more. He was able to pick up a lot of big KOs. And the Bulu was absolutely, or actually able to come in the back end and clean up the mess for the win. But like I said, 2-0, looking for that perfect record. Yo, we've been buzzing lately. We've been buzzing lately, getting winning records and perfect records for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy the content. But uh, who's he going to go into? He goes into Scott, and he could taunt me. He could taunt me early on here. Actually, he cannot taunt me because I'm just going to pick him out. And I do not see... Ooh, this is so tough. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna fake him out here. The Kyogre and just deal the damage to him. Or do I fake out the Kyogre and pop a trick in? Do I think he's gonna taunt me? I, I don't know, man. I don't think he is. Let's go into the fake out here. Let's fake out the Kyogre. We're gonna play the he ain't taunt in this game. I'm gonna say, yeah, he ain't got the Moxie taunt us. Hopefully, he goes into a Tailwind. That can be big for us. We might protect. He protects the Kyogre. He might go into double protect, which I'm totally cool with if he goes into double protect. No way he's taunting. No way he's taunting here. Okay, he tailwind. Okay, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day, baby. The Trick Room is popping. It is popping. We got Trick Room out and about here. Uh, hmm, what do I do from here? I'm going to Sun Shield Strike. I could get rid of you. Or I could go into a Photon Geyser and Parting Shot. What do I want to do here? What is Jeans play here? So we just go into a Sun Shield Strike here. And then we just Parting Shot over onto you. I'm with this turn all day. We have Trick Room. They have Tailwind. I'm loving it. He's going to Encore. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord we're Mental Herb. <laughs> that could have been so bad. That could have been so bad. I totally forgot about our Mental Herb, dude. That could have been so bad, yo. We get rid of the Whimsicott, and we are sitting in the driver's seat now. That could have been awful, man. He encored us, and I was just looked at the camera like, bro, yo, we are screwed. We are screwed here. But we're able to do that. I am going to bring out the Bulu here. We're going to get rocking here. He has minus one on special attack. We do have the Soul Vessel on him as well. But, dude, that thing encored and outplay us. And luckily, we had Mental Herb rocking on this Pokemon. I totally forgot about the Mental Herb. That's why I was so worried about the taunt. You guys are probably sitting there like, yo, Gene, do you have Mental Herb on this Pokemon? He's going to drop a Scald here. Bulu's going to say, yo, that is one of the tastiest snacks I ever had. He eats that shot up, no problem here. Yo, dude, Mental Herb clutching up. It's clutching up. I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about it. Oh, yo, I love it. I love it. But yo, he's probably so upset. He's like, oh, you want a trick room? I'm just going to encore you. And I'm going to say, nah, son. Be rocking out with this. Check this out. Mental Herb in your face. <laughs> Mental Herb them, takes him out. And we get rolling here. Uh, definitely want to go into our Photon Geyser here. And then just Horn Leech over onto this Kyogre. Because Horn Leech will dump on this thing. No problem. No problem whatsoever. We do have a Speed here. I could definitely see a Protect rolling out from the Kyogre slot. Maybe should have read that. Let's see. Yeah. There's a Protect. Yeah. There it is. There it is. I think the bird's gonna try to it's gonna try to take me out, but we're gonna be able to get off a huge photon guys here. I see us soaking up whatever the what's called has. Whatever this bird wants to go into, I see us just soaking it up. They go big old photon guys are there. He's gonna go into a hurricane. Eat this up, Bulu. Yes, sir. A soul fest coming in clutch. Do not confuse me. Thank the Lord. I was gonna cry a little bit. I was gonna make bruh. Really? But I, I definitely see him hard swapping. I am going to go into another photon geyser. I could Snarl, but I'm, I gotta post this threat with the Horn Leech, because I need some HP back here. If he stays in with Kyogre, we take out this Kyogre, and we get a huge HP buff. We get a huge HP restore here. He's gonna withdraw the Kyogre. Okay, that's pretty smart. But who's he gonna come into here? Hopefully it's someone who, who can't eat it up. Okay, it's Lando. It's Lando, I'm fine with that. Let's turn look how much damage we did, and we get a ton of HP back, which makes... Which we might be able to make us eat up another Hurricane here. It's gonna be close. The Photon Geyser is flying through here. Pop. Get after it. We still have Incineroar in the back end. And a Hurricane is gonna fly through here. Yo, say it's a tasty snack. Eat it up again. Bulu. Oh, yeah, Bulu. Oh, yes, Bulu. Bulu just eating. He's just eating. Their Tailwind's gone. We still have one more turn left in Trick Room. Uh, so I could see Protects coming out left and right. But I'm just gonna do the same move. I'm just going to. I know we have speed. I'm just gonna do this. But since Trick Room is gone, we still have our Kingdra in the back end. So that's going to be great up against this 1v1 for this Kyogre. Let's say we get a double kill here. Kyogre can come out here, drop a Water Spout, pick up an easy KO. Let's see how this one plays out. Is he double protecting? I can definitely see double protect popping out here. Gonna protect him. And he's double protecting. Okay. Okay. The Trick Room is gone. He's actually sitting in a really good spot here. A really, really good spot. 
He's sitting really, really good, which I don't like one bit. Rain has stopped. He has speed now. He does have speed. I wish we had like some sort of first turn priority move. That would be lovely, but we do not. So we are We're definitely gonna lose our Bulu here. We're definitely lose our Bulu here. Now who's poses the bigger threat? Who's gonna pose the bigger threat here? Like who do I want to take out? I'm trying to think. Do I want the bird gone? Or do I want this with Lando going? This Lando's probably rocking Sludge Bomb if I had to guess. Probably rocking Earth Power as well, so I think I'm gonna get rid of the Lando. I think he definitely has to go here. And then if I can, we can hold each over onto him, because this will still take it out. But I think he just goes out instantly. Earth Power's gonna fly through here. We should be able to eat that one up. It's beautiful eat. And he's gonna go into a hurricane and no shot. He misses his hurricane. Rain is gone, baby. Yo, that's GG's. That's gonna be GG's. Puts us right back in the driver's seat. Puts us right back in the driver's seat. We're just taking our car, whipping it right to victory for that perfect record. For that perfect record, baby. Give me your health for now. Give me your health with the horn leech. Yo, dude, Tapu Bulu and the Crossbow combo. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is spicy. It is zesty. This thing's rocking the Rocky helmet, but it's dead anyway. It is dead anyway. This thing is definitely going to be able to pick up an easy double KO onto me. Like, no problem with the water spout. But like I said, the rain is going to come back out. We have our Kingdra. Kingdra can definitely 1v1 this thing, no problem. No problem. No problem. And I have fake out with my uh, Incineroar later, but we already know how this one's going to play out. He's going to water spout here, pick up the double kill ease instantly. Actually, do I protect my Bulu? Actually, I, have no, I don't have protect on either of these guys. I don't protect on either of these guys, but I'll tell you exactly how this one's going to go down here. He's going to water spout. He's going to pick up the double KO. Cool, cool, cool. He's going to protect the next turn, block our fake out, and our Draco Meteor. Then we're just going to Draco Meteor and uh, hit him with like a parting shot or something, try to get off as much damage. But like I said, I think King Drake can 1v1 this thing, no problem. There's the water spout. Look at it. There it is. But we can just easily read these turns all day. So there's the double kill. Said that's going to happen. He's going to protect the next turn to block my fake out. We already know that's coming, and he's going to block my Draco Meteor. But I'm still going to drop another Draco Meteor and try to do more damage on that thing. So, Kingdra, Incineroar coming out here. Kingdra and Incineroar. I think I just dropped Snarls with my Incineroar, right? Probably might play Draco Meteor into... Am I even Draco Meteor? That's the real question. That is the real question. Do I go to Hurricane? I say we save our Draco Meteor. Hurricane's definitely gonna hit here. And I am gonna at least go for the fake out here. But again, he's gonna protect. We already know it's coming. We already know it's coming all day. See? Easy reads, dude. We, are, we, are, we, we saw this coming from 10 miles away. Fake out, block. Hurricane's gonna get blocked. The reason I am gonna go into this Hurricane first is because I don't want my special attack dropping just yet. I'd rather get off a hit with Hurricane and then drop my special attack because I do not see him taking me out in one turn. And we can potentially get confusion on him, which could be really, really good for us. Let's see how this one plays out here. He might switch to an Origin Pulse, unless he's Choice Scarf. A lot of Kyogre's have been Choice Scarf after, as of recently. My Hurricane coming out here. Show me the Ducks. Oh, this thing actually soak up more than I thought it would. Water Spout is coming out here. That's going to say bye by the instant. Easily. So, with all that, I think we can go in to get another Hurricane. I think we're fine with going into another Hurricane here. Because Water Spout did not do that much damage there. I think we drop another Hurricane, and then we drink a Meteor for the win. He might protect again. I really don't know what he's going to do. He might want to waste out this rain. But I don't think he has enough uh, enough protects to waste out rain. The Hurricane's flying through here. Get off. Give me the Ducks. Give me the Ducks. Come on, give me the Ducks. Give me some Duck luck. Ice Beam is going to fly through here. Can we eat up an Ice Beam? If we eat this up, we can just drink a Meteor then. There it is. There's the easy eats. Draco Meteor should be able to come in here and pick up the KO. Like I said, my king just should be able to easily 1v1 this thing. Protect can come out here. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Now we got some stab damage. Draco Meteor should be able to easily just finish this thing out. No problem. The rain really stopped. Was that five turns already? Was that fi Hold up. Water spout? Protect. Water spout? Protect. Yeah. We- No way! We're gonna lose! 
What you mean? We gotta outspeed. Do we outspeed? Show it. Show it. The rain really stopped on us like that. No way! Yo, GG to this guy playing his rain perfectly. Takes away our perfect record and grabs himself that win. I'm a little upset here. I can't believe we lost that third and final battle there. I cannot believe we lost that one. We had a great play with our mental herb early on with that Necrozma. Having some fun with it. The Bulu did come up clutch, hitting some big shots. But the King drove here. I thought we were safe to go into two Hurricanes and then Draco Meteor at the end. But we did not play the Rain right. I should have kept my eyes on the Rain turn and should have played it a little bit better. Because I would have Draco Meteor instead of Hurricaning on that second turn for me. That would have went into one Hurricane and then Draco Meteor again. And I think Draco Meteor would have taken him out. But I was playing it super safe, like I said. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.